it looks like that the Call of Duty fans just had enough, but still, everybody waiting for the next game, though. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, subscribe if you're brand new. Like the video if you do not want skill-based matchmaking, and dislike the video if you want skill-based matchmaking. But check this, wait for it, I guys. never thought I'd say this, but the Call of Duty community is finally united on something. Something other than using mom's credit card to buy bundles in the COD store. You're broke! Damn, Damn You're sir. fucking poor! COD suckers or not, the COD community shares common ground on one thing. They hate Modern Warfare 3. They hate Modern Warfare 3 more than the 3,000 developers people. hate making good maps. <laughs> Infinity War, Border Crossing. But why do- and, and you know the crazy thing here is that like, uh, they said they had 3,500 devs, and then like Microsoft Phil Spencer, he fired like 1,900 of them. So I believe now they are like around 2,000 2, something. Cod players hate Modern Warfare 3 so much. Everyone thought MW3 was going to be an improved version of MW2. Less that is Modern Warfare obviously. 2 2022 I'm talking about. I never disrespect the OG MW2. Comment if you know. But that year of Modern Warfare 2 2022 was easily the most miserable time for Call of Duty. And that's yeah. saying a lot since yeah. Vanguard came out a year prior. From the Crazy, lack of content... Man. To Infinity Turd, the, these things took like five months before dropping a a single new map. Could you imagine three years, three thousand deaths? These things took five months of dropping one new map. But guess what? We had the BBC bundles, though. You know, we had bundles every single day, though. You know, that was pretty okay, though. You know, ignoring the community to the worst maps in COD history. How could it get any worse? How could we hate a game even more than that one? Well, I'll tell you what, Call of Duty never ceases to amaze me. Modern Warfare 3 sales have been historically low. They oh, significantly oh, dropped dang. off from MW2 sales. Player counts have been dropping. No one seems to give a damn about this game other than to slander it. It's safe to say Call of Duty always gets the most hate of any game out there. But man, it somehow reached a whole other level with Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. So let's uncover this disaster. Modern Warfare 3 was just a cash grab, guys. Like, come on, man. It, it, it was a patch. Like, it's like, dog, we had better DLCs back in the days for $20. Look at GTA 4, the Ballad of Gay Tony, okay? The Lost and the, da and the Dame. Those DLCs were so better, so good for $14.99, if I'm not mistaken, USD and Canadian it was like $20, or maybe it was $20 USD, but that's besides the point, still it was $20, and th these things is charged, sick is $70! You guys are out of your, you guys are out of your goddamn mind, man. $70, bro, crazy, miss me. Whether you that, consider man. yourself a noob or sweat, you're gonna want to hit that like button and subscribe to the one, because I'm about to save you the time one, from going I'm the to one, a therapist yeah. by taking a steaming dump all over Modern Warfare 3 and say what's really on our mind. But you know, there were some people that actually did enjoy the game. Bruh. Right? Uh, one in the comments if you bought Modern Warfare 3 and you loved it, two in the comments if you did not buy it, three, or I mean, let me know if you bought it or not. And if you bought it, did you like it or not? Let me know because I, I heard like a lot of people say gameplay is good and the fundamentals are good. So they did do some good stuff with it. But other than that, it was like a cash grab, right? And I'm just gonna be real. This is gonna be a mess because of how many things are wrong with this game, but screw it. Uh -oh. This is the top 17 reasons Modern Warfare 3 gave me severe Holy hemorrhoids. Crap. Number one, it's a soulless cash grab. Modern Warfare 3 is a scam. By now, you've probably already heard how much of a disgrace Modern Warfare 3 truly is. After all, I uncovered it before the game even came out. It's an over-glorified $70 DLC expansion pack to Modern Warfare 2 2022. Modern Warfare 3 is a slap in the face to the original Modern Warfare trilogy. It is nothing like the OG MW3. Modern Warfare 3 is the wannabe version of what Miles Morales is to Spider-Man 1. Yeah. Except, you know... <laughs> Miles Morales didn't want to make me repeatedly bang my head against the wall. Yeah. How could you market Modern Warfare? Man, War the, the original Modern Warfare 3 2023 was just so goaded though. And, and you know the craziest and the funniest thing here is that even back then when the original Modern Warfare 3 came out, uh, all the way back in 2011, Seconds would fight between, you know what, it's just it, it, a coffee and paste from Modern Warfare uh, 2019. Uh, or 2009, I should say. And, and to be honest, I can see why people were complaining back then. Because at that point, yeah, Modern Warfare 3 2011, it was uh, copied of the 2009. Bruh. It, it really was. But guess what? People still played it. People still bought it. People loved it. Because they at least tried to have new content and good content. And they tried to up a notch with uh, kill streaks and I believe score streaks. Uh, first time ever it was the first time they in uh came out with infected you remember infected infected was so good in modern warfare 3 they came out with the co-op mode with the survival dog survival was a banger okay i'm a zombies guy 24 7 i love 
Treyarch zombies, minus like the, the new zombies that we're getting, like that is not even zombies, that's like bullcrap, okay? But like, I'm a zombies fan, alright? And survival in Modern Warfare 3 was so good, they also came up with a chaos playlist. Uh, the original Modern Warfare 3, just simply put, it was, yeah, copy and paste of the original Modern Warfare 2, but still, they upped a notch, they put it to 11 though. Still had a good ass campaign. Still, still had a good ass co-op and, and multiplayer. Also had new maps and new game modes as well. And they really did try to make kill streaks, score streaks, and everything work together. And the game was a banger, bro. Like, let's be real. But people did complain, but I mean, if you were to tell those people that there will come a time when we would have an uh, have an abomination like Modern Warfare 2023, I think those people would be like, okay, we have we have gold in our hands right now, you know. Warfare 3 as a premium $70 release when it became so obvious that it was intended to be DLC. We all knew Modern Warfare 3 was a scam from the jump, but my theory is Activision wanted to test how stupid and gullible Call of Duty consumers yeah. truly were. Meaning Crazy you and man. I. I know, that sounds pretty bad. It, it, it's, it's an IQ test. It really is. Call of Duty is the McDonald's version. Like, everybody knows McDonald's sucks. Everybody don't want to eat it, but they still want to eat it, right? They still want it, to... It's like for dopamine, right? Because it tastes good. Uh, Call of Duty looks and feels good till it doesn't. It's like, yeah, it's uh, one of those games that kind of like... It's the McDonald's. We all know it's, it's bad for you, but we still play it. But I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. And it turned out to bite them in the ass, because according to reports, Modern Warfare 3 sales dropped off 38% compared to a year ago with Modern Warfare yeah. 2. That's a big chunk of players saying, F you, I'm not buying your soulless cash grab scam. That's yeah. not to say Call of Duty still isn't making money off the Black Cell Battle Pass and microtransactions, the bundles and all that, but it goes to show how hated Modern Warfare 3 truly is that 4 out of 10 people gave Call of Duty the finger with MW3. People are starting to wake up in the COD community, and it's yeah. a beautiful thing to see. After yeah, for, first Call of Duty I didn't buy as well, and the Battle Pass system, right now it's like, I haven't bought a Battle Pass in, a, in such a long time that I don't even know how the system works Bruh. anymore. You know, I, I remember like the, the normal Battle Pass with like boxes and squares, like a, just a horizontal line, right now we're getting like... Like, I don't know whatever crap we're getting like oval shape and all that like I'm I'm so out of the zone right now I haven't bought the battle pass that to me like I I, I, I burn calories even thinking about the way they designed that They're actually. All, we're used to seeing beautiful things Yeah, th two. Th this type of battle pass I was talking. Yeah, that was Still not the matchmaking engagement optimized matchmaking and AI bots Modern yeah. Warfare 3 is rigged. I'm tired of hitting all my shots if the game says nah <laughs> you then all the COD suckers tell us we're crazy. Well, guess what, Lenny? We're not crazy. I'm tired of being matched up with the worst players on the planet, while the other team has a full stack of CDL sweats. Speaking of CDL, Activision got sued by Scump and Hex. Nice. Skill-based matchmaking has increased my- uh, Apparently they did, but I guess the judge came out. Yeah, I was seeing that, okay? I was, uh, the update here is this. The judge dismissed the case. So, yeah, there, that's the update. That's the update right now. Blood they pressure in ways I didn't think were possible. It's frustrating when you want to play the game with the attention of enjoying it. I know, that's pretty sad that you even have to emphasize that. But then you realize that you're not even playing the game. The game's playing you. Oh, then you're crap. like, why the fuck am I even on this game? Or should I say, why did I hop on this casino? Because that's what Modern Warfare 3 truly is. It gets you hooked for one game where you play well and you feel like you're the best player on earth. And then it crushes your dreams for the next five games as you get curb stomped by the sweatiest creatures you have ever played against. But right before you get off, it's like a ha it's like having a Taco Bell. Call of Duty gives you another good game and puts you in an easy lobby so you can once again get that feeling that you're the best player on earth. When everybody loves getting Taco Bell, and you love it when you have it, but then it's like you wait a little bit, and you hate it because you know what I mean. In reality, like the game is playing you the entire time. Oh, yeah, but it you're gets not worse. playing the game. It's called Engagement Optimized Matchmaking, Holy or EOMM. This is what I refer Holy to as the silent killer of Call of Duty multiplayer, because most players sadly aren't aware of the term as much as they are skill-based matchmaking. What EOMM does is basically manipulate you in-game to suit its algorithm. In other words, Modern Warfare 3 is a rigged piece of sh I'm sure many of you have heard of skill-based damage, skill-based hit detection, yeah, your crazy. fist going through your monitor. It's all very real. Like these seconds know you play five games and these seconds know the size of your dong They they will find out very quickly if you have a BBC or like an L or BWC bruh. I'm not even capping bruh like they, they, they know everything about you They know more about you than you would ever know about yourself 
That's how strong this algorithm is. It's guys like, come on now, man. You're intelligent, bro. Like, okay, once or twice, five times, a ten times, a dozen times. If you ever experience where like your shots are not connecting, yeah, we always have those moments where we feel like that we put in more bullets than the other guy, and we saw the guy first, and we shot the guy, and the guy uh, turns around, just one bullet, and and just ends you, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Like sometimes. It happens, you know, connection and all that, whatever, maybe uh, somehow you miss your shot, somehow, maybe it was a bug, maybe it was a glitch, but if it happens, like, over and over, guys, like, come on, man, like, that's by design, that is by design, they want this, this is EOMM, skill base, hit base damage and all that, uh, it, it really is a, a thing in the game, bro. Fortunately, because it costs a good amount for a new monitor. But basically what EOMM does is nerf your damage to enemies, nerf in your real connection, time. erase your bullets so they somehow don't connect. COD is even believed to nerf your elephant footstep volume. Now, you tell people your experience <laughs> of this garbage. And then we get down to the conspiracies. I, I, I'm pretty sure, like, some of it is conspiratorial, but it's like, do you want to blame people for assuming anymore? Because there's so much trash that they put in the game, so much trash that they hide from us. And they recently came out confirmed skill based matchmaking. And meanwhile, we knew for for years. We knew we have known about it for years. But I come from a time like I remember when the articles were coming out, right? When we saw like the, the actual patterns. People were making videos. I was making videos, and half of the community didn't want to believe because they were saying you're delusional. And half of the community was like, yeah, bro, like you, you right, you spitting facts right now. You know, I feel that too. I feel that too. Uh, the other half didn't want to believe, but right now it's like we're at a time that they even confirmed it. Uh, and, and you gotta understand that there is a whole lot of other crap that they never talked about and, and they probably wouldn't or maybe they would within like the next five years ten years maybe right but by that time they're probably gonna have something even deeper than that something even more trashier than, than that maybe trashier is probably not the word but you understand where i'm coming from right it's happening on mw3 and they call you crazy like you're the nut holding up the street sign the end is near until they realize you're right and they've woken up to how corrupt call of duty has the, truly become the end is nigh. But it's too late because they've spent thousands of dollars on cringe bundles. The crazy part is all these ways that Modern Warfare 3 is rigged is solely to manipulate your experience to stay yeah. on the game, which is ironic considering it has the complete opposite effect on most of us. I'll get into why MW3 is rigged in a moment, but can we please discuss the hot theory surrounding AI bots in MW3 multiplayer? For a good while, the biggest talk in the COD community was the drama surrounding AI bots in MW3 multiplayer. The theory is, Call of Duty uses these bots to fill multiplayer lobbies for one reason, to keep the match as close as possible, and that could mean the bot joins a team and shreds the other because the team they joined isn't very good, or they join a team and suck to bring the team down because they're doing too well. Crazy, mm -hmm. right? Well. There was a bunch of suspect clips going around the COD community. And, and, okay, yeah, okay, so that perspective is actually very, very good, and I never thought like this, so W, I'm the one on that. The perspective, the perspective that I had, and, and because, like, listen, we in Battlefield 2042, we heard about bots, and, yeah, people did, were against it, rightfully so, but people weren't that against in comparison to Call of Duty players, right? Call of Duty players are like, wow, we don't want it. Battlefield 2042, the way they did it is that, like, if if the game dies okay and it did die but right now it's like doing fine i believe it's doing better than call of duty could be wrong don't quote don't quote me on that one call of duty after all got mobile and warzone so with that it's doing amazing but if you minus warzone and call of duty mobile and you keep like modern warfare 3 only modern warfare 2023 only and you compare that with battlefield 2042 we're, we're hearing battlefield 2042 is doing better shocker insane ideas insane things to think about like, I was baffled, quite frankly, but, like, people, when they talk about bots for especially Battlefield 2042, it's like, when the game dies and when there's nobody playing the game, and you're somebody that want to hop on, you know, play the game, that's when bots are going to overtake and they're going to fill in the lobbies just so you can actually play when there's nobody playing. You feel what I'm saying? So in that aspect, it's a good thing and I'm all up for it. And basically what they said was that th th the lobbies are going to be filled by AI bots, but if somebody wanna join, they can join and the bot will just leave. You know, it will replace. Uh, so basically, the if you have like, if you're doing like in a harsh situation, one a 64 player lobby, so one versus 63 bots, there's nobody playing but you, 
So 63 bots, right? And then there's a second guy joins in. Then it's like you and another real human and then 62 bots. You feel what I'm saying? So I think that idea is actually good, but with Call of Duty, it's something else, I think. ...community of straight up weird behavior from players in the game. But an Activision patent later came out that confirmed it is not just a theory. What this mm. is basically saying is there are AI bots in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer that mimic a real player's behavior so that you can't even tell if it's a bot or not. Yeah. This pretty much ends the discussion as far as I'm concerned. Don't even try to defend this one, Cotsucker, you're out. Now, as to why Call of Duty uses oh, skill-based matchmaking, engagement-optimized matchmaking, and AI bots to rig your Modern Warfare 3 matches. Yeah. Well, it all goes back to one thing, and it's the third reason why Modern Warfare 3 is so damn hated. Number uh -oh. three. Microtransactions, uh -oh. bundles, ah! cosmetics, and Yeah, he means like the friendly UAV online. He means the friendly UAV online, the BBC bundles and all that. Yep. And skins yeah, that yeah, make yeah. me want to aggressively bum rush through a field of Legos. You want even more proof MW3 is rigged? Let me show you another patent regarding the significance that skins have over manipulating the game. According to this Activision patent, Call of Duty intentionally puts you in lobbies with players who have bought skins and are using them in game. Why you may ask? Well, it's a way for Call of Duty to shove their skins in your face to encourage you to buy them. The simple thinking behind this is giving the player with the skin an advantage in gunfights over the player who, let's just say, has not bought a skin because this makes the player who has not bought a skin say, wow, that dude is really good. I can't tell if it's because he's on crack, Adderall, or G Fuel, but I'm willing to take a chance on that skin. Maybe I'll finally make my parents proud and become an esports pro athlete on Call of Duty. Not to mention Man. the FOMO involved. Many players think, oh, I have to buy and use this skin because every- We really need to make not buying skins cool again. We really need to make it. Like, if you're running a default skin, bro, you have my respect. If you're running, like, a default soldier skin, bro, you are a man of culture or a gal of culture if you're a, a female playing the game, right? Like, yeah. Y you know what, Don DeMarco, for you real quick. Default, default skin, users, gamers, rise up! everyone else's. Point is, the sole reason Modern Warfare 3 is rigged is to get you to spend more money. More money. And these big AAA companies are the and best keep you playing. at manipulating players to get the outcome they want through nefarious algorithms. But skins have another negative effect on the game that the COD community is extremely vocal about and you probably already know what I'm gonna say. And that is how skins have killed immersion in the Call of Duty it, it franchise. Truly has. And it's yeah. only gotten worse in Modern Warfare 3. Just think about the title of this game. Modern Warfare 3. There's think about nothing. it in your head. Modern Warfare 3 more like for modern audience uh, and, and that's like the game, you know what I mean and all that like with the woke crap and all that that's happening in gaming as well it, they, that's what it is and it, truly though the skins kill immersion it, it truly does because back in the days you had like actual factions I always bring up this example from Battlefield 3 when it was like US versus Russia I believe Battlefield 4 was uh, they included like China as well so US versus China versus Russia a and you know every class like the the assault class the engineer the support class would have like its own like team and the faction and it looked so good it looked good it felt real as well and the, the game felt it had like the right amount of realism and the right amount of fun as well or more fun uh, actually like those games were really really fun and Call of Duty did the same thing as well where it had factions and true soldier skins and it really felt nice though you know like it felt real right now we're getting all the wacky skins now I'm not like super against the wacky skins I'm more so against the idea of hey this is like the only content we're getting in the games though think about it for a second right you're spending $70 USD plus taxes you get the game you you bought the full price game why do you have to spend more money they're doing it by design they're doing it purposely and intentionally you get so little content that's like actually free and good free content in game right now is just abysmal and we barely get anything but guess what we get the bbc bundles we got the new bundle every single week and twenty dollars thirty dollars the recent bundle i believe was thirty five dollars it, it's insane bro it really is insane and, and all the the content that's like good looking is like behind a paywall twenty dollars thirty dollars thirty five dollars you're getting that three thousand deaths dog and these things are only working by the looks of it only working on the bundles i hate the idea of that that that's the only type of content we're getting and the only type of content or the only decent content that we're getting is like locked behind a paywall 20 30 35 dollars say it out loud and then play modern warfare 3 and tell me what you see 
Does that look like Modern Warfare to you? Remember when Call of Duty was military based? The only character yeah, you could use were default military dudes, yeah, and it really leaned into the gritty atmosphere of war. It Dude. gave intensity. When Call of Duty only had these default skins, it truly did immerse you into the game. It felt genuine. Modern yeah. Warfare 3, on the other hand, is a completely different story. But seriously, now there's a rubber duck, a bunny, a rat. We can start a farm on this motherfucker. And remember the group skin controversy? That bastard was literally see-through. And it got so bad to the point Call of Duty had to remove it from the game, nerf it so that it was easier to see, and add it back in game. But Damn. they waited until that season was over to push players onto the new battle pass and skins they were advertising, which decreased the value of the Groot skin. Genius, but scummy. And oh, don't worry, the Call of Duty Circus makes another stop. This time, it's with bundles, and it gets ugly. Recently, Call of Duty released their most expensive bundle ever! at 3400 COD points, Holy only to crap, remove yeah. it and take the price down 1000 points, as well as refund all the COD suckers 1000 COD points, yeah. who actually they They would give you your money back in Call of Duty points. <laughs> so you go ahead and buy another bundle, and the next bundle is most probably not going to be 1000 Call of Duty points, it would require a little bit more, so in your head you're going to be like, okay, so I got 1000 Call of Duty points, let me spend couple more bucks so I can up my up my Call of Duty points break so I can then go ahead and buy that bundle this is like insane I, I don't know man I, I feel like that most people are manipulated especially the younger dudes are manipulated but most 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 of you are probably older dudes as well some of you are probably teenagers but but like uh, you know what I mean right it's scummy as hell they, they know what they're doing and it's like I, I'm guys. I'm not against like the the skins. Okay, I'm against the idea. That's the only content we're getting, and it's like behind a paywall, and it's destroying the game first of all. And, and B, it's just like dog. Can a brother get like actual good content in the game? It feels like, and this is gonna be a wild take here, but like season passes for fifty dollars that would give like new maps and good maps were actually kind of good though uh back in the days I i'm just saying i mean i'm not i'm not saying that like bring that system back but it's like i'm i'm saying like i wouldn't mind like some kind of I don't know, man. I, this is definitely going to be controversial because on the other, on uh, one side, people are going to be like, nah, free content. And yeah, I'm on that side because like, look at other games. There are so many other games that are doing free content. Yes, sure. But like Call of Duty, I think we need to find a middle ground. I need, I think there needs to be a middle ground between free content and the paid content there. I think they need to up the quality and the frequency of the free content because the way they're doing is just abysmal. It, it, the game literally dies. Back in the days, they're used to be a meme that the game will die by february nobody's gonna talk about february right now it's like december it's like <laughs> where is season one? Oh yeah season one just came yesterday where it's like content is not there bro the content is not there bought that filth but the disgusting part is call of duty didn't even refund the money all because of a pricing error no no yeah. way it's not what you think call of duty straight up robbed people with this bundle why you may ask well other than their greedy intentions Basically, they wanted to see how stupid we are. They wanted to see what reaction it would draw from the community so they could find out how much they could get away with. Testing so, the waters. I guess that still kind of counts as greed. Luckily, though, we called them out on their BS and we all had a happy ending. In your dreams, you stupid mother... <laughs> At the end of the day, COD developers now oh, focus man. on skins more than making MW3 actually, you know, playable. And it just fuels our hatred for this game even more. Even more. Number 4. MWZ. Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is the epitome of laziness. It said my lot my wife left me. <laughs> in a complete scam. We'll get into why it's a scam in a bit here, but let's talk about how lazy Call of Duty truly got with MWZ. They marketed MWZ as the biggest zombies map ever. Yeah. And the first open world experience for COD players, combining Bruh. the classic zombies mode with DMZ. And, and the sad reality is that people defended this uh no, if you enjoyed it, okay, that's one thing, but like objective, okay, subjectively, okay, you can you can maybe say like you had fun, but from an objective standpoint, bro, I don't understand how people defended, people did defend this, really, people did defend this, when I first saw this, I was like, bro, like they just killed zombies, bro, they killed zombies, and I got some hate for it. I mean, it's whatever, right? Like, it's video game opinions, it's whatever. But, like, people did defend this trash. It's absolutely insane. And and right now, it's kind of considered cool to hate on zombies right now. Because, 
I guess every, mostly everyone is on the same page. Why? Because like in the very beginning, it felt kind of new. But over time, people came to realize we're not getting any content. They do not care. And this is the only thing we're going to have for the rest of the year. And that's it. And, you know, we all got catfish. They got our money. And now they're not going to have any more content. I guess people were expecting that there's going to be a lot more new zombies content. But when they weren't, were not given that content, everybody was like, it's, it's bad. It's trash. I mean, guys, come on. How many times we're going to do this, right? It happens every single year, bro. And this time, the fact that they didn't even try to have a single new zombies map an actual map i mean the writing was on the wall the writing was on the wall maybe this time track is gonna do better uh maybe May i I'm, I'm, I'm a zombies guy bro i'm a zombies fan i i hope they bring zombies back but i it's like i don't know bro. sounds amazing on the surface right but in reality it's the biggest zombies map ever because all they did was warzone. copy the new warzone map and yeah. call of duty decided to make mwz open world because it's the easiest possible thing they could have done think about it what was even updated Season 2 released for Modern Warfare 3 with everything being an in-season update for Zombies Mode, meaning you'd probably have to wait another month for something new while multiplayer gets new maps and weapons. And you got I'd be curious anything, right? if I were strictly a Zombies fan. Call of Duty knows they don't have to update it often. And this goes into how Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is a scam. What do you notice about these screenshots? Seems like Call of Duty is trying to sell you MWZ because Treyarch is developing it, right? Yeah. Why? Well, obviously because Treyarch has the has most a name. prestige, no pun intended, yeah. developed- they're, they're using their name, and, and I think that's a big mistake, because like, if they know that Treyarch is going to be coming out with their next game, and it's going to have good zombies in it, they should not use Treyarch name for the current game, because then it's like people are going to have a bad taste in their mouth, and people are going to be skeptical for the next game, and you can- get the sales down for the next game too dog like don't do that because zombies is like you you, you feel what i'm saying right but if it turns if this time it turns out good then the word of mouth will spread and i guess people might come back but not everybody's gonna come back right developing the most iconic zombies modes since call of duty world at war mm. in 2008 black ops yeah, cold war zombies their most recent cod even was a success we'll just skip over vanguard zombies but honestly you can't even blame them for that one being constantly crammed to do everyone else's dirty work but you get the point. Treyarch yeah, has yeah, all yeah. the respect in the world from the zombies community. So by yeah. default, if you dangle Treyarch in front of zombies players, odds are they're going to buy in and be hyped for it. Sounds great, right? Well, fast forward to today. Liar! Yep, that's right. The biggest reason you had hoped for MWZ and possibly the New only content, reason you but... bought Modern Warfare 3 is now gone. Yeah, so Modern there we Warfare go. 3 Zombies, MWZ, whatever you want to call it, I did not watch this video. Usually there are videos that I try to skim through and watch before. So you know what? I can have like better points because I, I, I don't necessarily just want to do like react video. I want to also provide like discussion and like y you know what I mean? And we can have talk back and forth. We see what's happening in the community. I get to show you what's happening in the community. Then we talk, we discuss and bring up like different arguments and points. This is one of those videos like did not watch. I mean, it it's predictable. Like... <laughs> I've been I've been part of this community for years. I know I know what he's gonna say. I, it's yeah, like the people, the community thought the, the the circus that were defending Call of Duty zombies. They were not necessarily defending Modern Warfare Three zombies. They were just thinking deep down that you know what they're not gonna rob us that bad right we're, we're still gonna get content but it's like when they didn't get content they were like yeah bro you were right you were right bro i should not have bought the game you were right yeah it's it's one of those things i mean it's like damn homie damn man like v gamers getting done dirty though like at this point bro like i don't even know bro like turned out to be a total scam and this yeah. leads me to believe Treyarch never even really needed to develop this mode in the first place. I understand they needed to work on their next Black Ops game, but if all they really needed to do was add DMZ contracts to zombies with schematics on the copy and pasted Warzone map, why couldn't Sledgehammer or High Moon do that? Unless Activision really put Sledgehammer on the clock, then Treyarch was basically used for the name alone to name get alone, people yeah. sold an MW3 Zombies. And, and also, I feel like that if they were to market just uh, multiplayer and campaign, it, it's like they're gonna sound like, okay, it, it's probably gonna sound like less content, and I feel like this is why they were like, okay, let's uh, let's do, you know, add zombies into the mix. Even though it's like <laughs> AI zombies, and it's like bringing crap back from black ops cold war mixed in with the new warzone map even though it's that it's like it's gonna sound good on paper scam if you ask me but hey all i'm gonna say is they better bring back round base in cod 2024 because this is a worse look than the next reason modern warfare 3 is the most hated game ever and, and i hope like we also get a 
zombie screw as well, man. We get zombie screw. I hope we can pause the game as Bruh. well. This time in solo. Because apparently adding a pause button is really problematic. It really requires a lot of resources for these things out here. Back in the days, you could pause till your console was sent to heaven or your electricity ran out or you forgot to pay your electricity bill. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? If you kept your console on and you pause the game, it would stay paused till you unpause it. Or like I was saying, like electri uh, electricity cut off, you forgot to pay your bill, or your console died on its way through, right? Yeah, but now it's like, no, man, you cannot. We cannot, we cannot pause. We, we do not know how to make a pausing button uh, uh, be in the game. Number five, Modern Warfare 3's campaign. The worst Call of Duty campaign ever. Yeah. Worse than Black Ops 3's campaign. It is the worst experience I have ever had playing through any single player mode on any game. I really don't yeah. want to spend much time on this just because of how much I genuinely despise it, but I'll simply run through what we all hated about it. Piss poor writing, open world filler missions, killing off soap for literally no reason, generic yeah. plot about stopping missiles, over glorified DLC expansion to MW2, no emotion, no immersion, no rhyme or reason, no fun. Yeah, this one was one of the worst campaign. It would have been better off if they didn't even try. You know, Black Ops 4 always gets uh, the most amount of criticism for having no campaign. And it's like, Black, uh, I, I rather no campaign than like a piss poor campaign. And make no mistake, this was supposed to be a DLC, a patch for Modern Warfare 2022. It was. That was the what the reports were saying. Guys, come on now. We're talking Bloomberg here. We're talking Jason Schreier. We're talking Tom Henderson. These dudes are credible. They even leaked the Lucia Bernardo. They leaked a bunch of stuff for Call of Duty in the past. Battlefield 2042. Jason Schreier. I mean, like, come on. I, I know some people don't like like the guy what you got your reasoning i'm not here to convince you otherwise okay but but like you cannot take away the objective truth that the guy is credible when it comes to reporting video game news right so they these people told us that yeah bro it's a it's a it's a dlc but now they're turning it into a game because they think they have a little bit more content a little bit more a little bit more content and they feel like that they can justify a price of 70 dollars they were supposed to have a couple more missions right uh, for modern warfare 2022 with the og modern warfare 2 remaster mess in modern warfare 2022 but they just tried to have uh, add like zombies on warzone and, uh, and also add like some warzone like mission in the game beef up uh, or bloat it up rather and, and sell you for 70 dollars bro this campaign number six the battle pass it seems like every time I load this game up, I'm just flooded with reminders that the Battle Pass exists as if I wasn't aware it's been a thing for over 5 years now. The thing I hate most about the Battle Pass though, is that it kills progression. Call of Duty used to have a traditional prestige mode, where you'd level up to hit that yeah. new mark, normally around level 50, resetting your level, and requiring you to level up again, if you chose to, so if that you, you had to, to yeah. play to earn those weapons and perks. Yeah, yeah, I remember back in Modern Warfare 3, like, they had 10 prestiges, and then they added 10 more, and you know what, back in the days it was kind of cool, because the game was really, really fun to play, but you could have chose to not prestige. You know, in some games, I never prestige. In other games, I prestige like crazy. So the fact that they took that away, they, they're just, they, they're removing everything that makes Call of Duty, Call of Duty, dog, like. It gave you something to grind for. Nowadays, it's literally pay to win. You rank up through the battle pass tiers to unlock new weapons and skins that are locked behind a paywall. And we already know how these microtransactions, these bot weapons, play a role in rigging MW3, giving unfair advantages to players who purchase these cosmetics. And your prestige and level has become a vanity metric. It holds no value anymore. Throughout your first 50 levels is the only time you play through the game to unlock weapons, perks, and equipment. After mm. that, your level just keeps going up and Prestige loses its meaning, resulting in the death of progression in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Man! The Battle Pass. We want progression back. <laughs> and I know, yeah. this technically could be- You know what? I agree. Shout out to I'm the one. I mean, he, he's like really hitting it right now. All the points are like very, very good. I, I mean, after all, this video is being made by a Call of Duty player and gamer that has been playing for a while so all of this is making sense and truly this is like a, a, not a hate video i know some people would say uh e call of duty hater call of duty hater it's a hate video now bro like it's not a hate video you can probably say hate video like five years ago but everything he's saying spot on and it's the honest truth tied in with my third point i made about microtransactions but i think it's worthy enough for me to take a dump on it alone number seven the annoying ass daily challenge unlock system who asked for this? 
It's like we, we say we want a classic system back in Call of Duty, then you, you go ahead and make us complete daily challenges, which no Bruh. one gives a damn about Bruh. because it makes us play in a way. Except for one of the homie Grizz Violent. Uh, if you know, you know. If you don't know, <laughs> you don't know. And, and somehow, Grizz, if you're watching, bro, I love you, man. Nothing but love, man. We played zombies back in the days together, bruh. What's up, man? How you doing? I, I know he's all about like daily challenges and weekly. I mean, in zombies, kind of makes. Okay, like, can boost up the replay value, but other than that, like, I, I have to agree on this. Like, whenever I jump on multiplayer, if I jump on multiplayer and I see this, I'm like, whatever. Like, I, I just miss past that. Miss me with that, bro. Get mama. That's, uh, yeah. We don't want to play. Why would you do this? Oh, but don't worry. You also have the option to win three games instead. So you're telling me I have to complete daily challenges and or win three matches, which is completely reliant on whether skill-based matchmaking wants to screw you or not, just to unlock an attachment? The f*** sledgehammer. This progression system blows, Bruh. but not as much as number eight, Ow. Modern Warfare 3's horrid UI. Each time I load up Call of Duty, it's like my memory's erased and I am just totally lost trying to figure out how the hell the UI works again. Yeah. Remember when Call of Duty was too. flaunting that MW3 had the highest player the original menus for Call of Duties were so good. It was like vertical, it was easy to read, easy to see, and it did not felt cluttery. Right now, the menus are really, really abysmal, bro. Like, it, it just sucks to find out, and it doesn't promote you trying out different things or different game modes in the game. You're just like, you, you know, one game mode or two game modes, easy to see, or you know where it's at, you're just gonna click on that. Because we all got, like, tr crap happening in our life. We don't want to be like wasting time on the menu screen for like 5-10 minutes. We just want to jump in the game, bruh. Like make the menu simple, bro. Like why complicated? And every game menu looking the same as well. And that also kind of uh, puts people, uh, and that also kind of promotes the fatigue, right? Because all the new games, first of all, graphically and gameplay wise, feeling the same. No novelty. The menus and the color sch color schemes. Okay, yeah, they changed it on this one. I mean, wow, shocker. Bruh. But like the menus are feeling the same. It it's just bad for novelty, man. Just change up, bro. Change up the the the, the look of the game and the feel of the game. Their engagement ever? Yeah. Well, I'm starting to believe the UI plays the biggest role in that. Cause you think about it, and it's like, of course players are staying on the game longer than ever. Because they're spending over an hour trying to on figure out how to even get to it. It's a freaking mess. I genuinely believe Call of Duty designed this UI for the sole purpose of keeping you on MW3 longer, because it makes them look better. But yeah, let, let's not stay on this too long. I'm getting sick just looking at it. My eyes! Number 9. Hackers. AKA yeah, cheaters, yeah, 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 AKA bro. losers, AKA people who are not subscribed to the one yet. For yeah. real, subscribe if you're sick of cheaters and call them. Okay, let me, yeah, I'm actually subbed, man. So I'm fine, man, I'm fine. Yeah, guys, uh, definitely subscribe to the homie, I'm the one. Okay, where shall I begin with this debacle? Ever since- and, and subscribe here, everybody subscribe, everybody subscribe if you're brand new. And guys, real quick, I wanna say, uh, I have a second channel. This is where we upload UFO content, conspiracy content. I know I'm promoting it a little bit late, but if you see it, you see it. And if you're into it, definitely subscribe, guys. And if you're able to and you want to support, become a member, click the join button. It would be a pleasure to have you. Alright, let's get back to the, the, the content here, boo-boo. Crossplay came to Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 2019. Cheating has gotten totally out of control, and it's only gotten worse with Modern Warfare 3. Even during the beta, the hacking had already spiraled out of control with multiple reports of cheating losers. But if you're using aimbot and wall hacks in MW3 Warzone, and you think you're actually good at the game, you, my friend, are a scumbag. You are ruining everyone's intention to have a casual experience, which kind of is impossible with skill-based matchmaking anyway, but still you get the point. But seriously, what is Ricochet even doing? Do they brag that they're banning nothing. thousands of players, but nothing seems to matter in the grand scheme of things. And you're telling me a billion dollar company in Activision for their own game, seriously? Mind you that they used to be multi-billion, but now they're with uh, Microsoft, so they they have cash power of trillion. I know they're not gonna give Activision trillion, but like they are under a trillion, to a multi-trillion dollar company. Cannot find a way to get this done? Is that the case? Or do you- Or not multi, but like triple. I mean, triple trillion, no, three trillion. That's insane, guys. Like, not wanna on. spend the money because you don't have enough of it already from all those cot suckers buying your stupid ass bundles. Which is it? Well, Modern Warfare 3 has become unplayable due to this issue. And it's gotten so bad, you ha you just have to expect that someone is hacking or cheating in your lobbies. Yay. Half the time you can't even tell, because everyone looks like Taz from the Looney Tunes on crack anyway. Stop cheating in Call of Duty. 
Number 10. I, I wish it was as simple as saying stop cheating and seeing people stop cheating. It's like, bro, like, come on, man. It's not gonna happen. It's like FPS games are riddled with it, but so far, thankfully, I know cheats still exist on console, but so far on the PlayStation and Xbox, if you turn off crossplay, that's the solution right now. That is the only solution for now. For now. Modern Warfare 3 2023 is a disgrace to the OG Modern Warfare 2. Oh, yeah, Remastered 100%. OG MW2 maps sound great on the surface, right? Being yeah. able to play Terminal, yeah. High Rise, Derail. What? What the fuck? Seriously, though, it sounds like a great idea on the surface to bring back all those maps in a newer game. Yep. Except this newer game plays like absolute dog shit. The way Modern Warfare 3 plays has ruined the OG MW2 maps, which goes into the next reason MW3 is so hated. Okay, on this one, I cannot give my opinion because I have not played, but apparently when the game came out, I'm not sure about now, but when the game came out, people were loving the gameplay though. You know, probably honeymoon phase, uh, yeah, you can say that. So, I, I think he's bringing a perspective from... Uh, his perspective right now is from somebody that has played the game day one and, like, day 100, kind of, right? So, obviously, the opinion is going to change, so, okay, fair. But, like, I was hearing that the gameplay is fun. Like, they brought the minimap back. Look at us. Wow, minimap is back. Bruh. And they try to bring back, like, the all, all the OG features that we had, like, 10, year, uh, 10 years ago. And they marked it as, as like, they were doing, like, some crazy stuff it's like they remove stuff from the game and then they add it back only to say that yeah look at us we did it again guys recently we've done this video as well this is this video was about call of duty modern warfare 3 right this video is about the entire franchise though yay check out this massive video on the left though th that video is about gta 6 check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there